Welcome back to another episode of the Zava and Austin Show. I've been asking what you guys want to hear, and it seems like craps is the most popular subject, so I'm going to go into that just a little bit. But in future episodes, I'm going to be more... I like variety. I don't like to stick with one game. I want to talk about everything gambling. I want to talk about everything Las Vegas. And that's where I'm going to be. But, but today we'll do a craps video. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more gambling videos, more about Las Vegas. I also throw in a few creative things. I don't know if you saw about a couple weeks ago. Uh, I get a little trippy with my editing, and uh, I like to experiment a lot with videos. So that's you know that's just the way it's going to be. But the Zava and Austin show is about gambling, so that's what we're doing here. You could skip all the other stuff if you don't want to watch it. Uh, today, we are going to talk about craps. One thing I wanted to cover, I was trying to think of where we could go with this. Like, well, I, I could show you strategies, but they're all over the internet. Most of the time, they don't work. I could show you strategies that don't work. I could show you a couple of things that may help improve your game. We'll get to, into that in the future. But uh, right now, I wanted to just talk about craps etiquette. Uh, some people are new to the game. If you're watching this, you may have not ever played craps. You may just want to try to learn about it. You may be an expert. You may be someone who's an occasional craps player. Maybe you, you know, you're just trying to get some extra tips. I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. You could comment below and tell me, but right now, I don't know. So I was thinking uh, a good video, one that I don't really see online a lot, is just talking about craps etiquette. I see a lot of people making mistakes at the craps table, not playing the game, just, you know, little silly mistakes that they, they just don't know that you're not supposed to do that. So let's get into this. Number one, when you walk up to a table, wait for the right time to buy in. Usually the dealer will give you like a little nod, like go ahead, drop your money down. So pay attention to the dealer. Always, in any game, put the money on the felt. Don't try to hand it to the dealers. They won't take it. They're not allowed to. You have to drop it down in front of you. Let them take it and handle it. And they will they will cash you in without disrupting the game. Now, cashing out is another thing that is sometimes a problem. If you're going to color up and leave, you should. it's good etiquette to wait until the roll is over. People don't like when you disrupt their game and you don't want to be a hated person at the craps table. You want to be part of the team. Etiquette tip number two. After the point is established. Alright, so for those of you who are beginners here, you want 7 or 11 will win in the first roll until one of the other numbers, the point numbers, are established. That's 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, and 10. When one of those numbers comes up, that becomes the point. After that, the seven is bad. Do not ever say seven after the point is established. Now, if you're standing next to me and you say it, I really don't care. In fact, I don't care about any of these. You know, to me, the dice go, the random, each roll is an independent event, and luck is either with you or not with you. I don't care what you say at the table, I don't care what you're betting, I don't care what you're doing. To me, I'm just there to play and have a good time. I'm having a few drinks, I'm laughing, I'm joking around with the people around me. That's just me. That's what I'm doing at the craps table. I, I'm not there to win, I'm not there to win uh, and try to like bring in some crazy system. I'm just there to play and have a good time. That is what gambling is all about. But, there's some people who really take this game serious. And if you say seven, and a seven comes up, you're not going to be a very popular person at that table. So, it's best just to never say seven at all. Even in the come out role, just get used to not even saying seven. Some people think it's bad luck. But if you're standing next to me, do whatever you want. Number three. Now, Watch the dice throughout the game. When the stick man has the dice, that's when you place your bets. When he moves those dice over and, and the shooter has the dice, 
even if they're not throwing yet, when they have the dice, you are done. Do not bet anymore. Don't throw any chips out. Don't put your hands on the table. Take your hands up and keep them by your keep them outside of the table. Do not interrupt that roll. Because if that those dice come out, they bounce off your hand, and a seven comes up, a seven out, you're going to be a hated person at the table once again. Number four. If you're like me, you're not always betting the pass line. Sometimes you're betting the dark side. And when I'm betting the dark side, I kind of go away into the corner. I shut up. I don't say anything. I don't look at anybody in the eye. I bet that don't pass line. I collect my money. And I move on. No cheering. No uh, clapping. No getting into it with anybody because people are going to hate you. They're superstitious people at the crap stable. I think we've already covered that. But I'm telling you right now, the most superstitious people you will ever meet in a casino are going to be standing at the crap stable. So if you're betting the don't pass, just try to be a ghost. Try to be invisible and collect your money because the truth is, most of the time, you're going to make more money than the other guys. And number five. Now, number five is one that you can irritate me when you do this. And I'm just going to go out and say it because I know a lot of people are going to know. A lot of you are going to understand what I'm talking about. Don't be a douchebag. Now, there's a lot of ways that people are complete friggin' douchebags at the craps table. One is when most of the table's full, but there's one section where you could probably fit like two or three more table people in there. And there's one asshole standing there like this, with his arms out, blocking off the whole area so nobody else could stand next to him. If you get up there, they, they, they totally ignore you. They know you're there. They see you there, but they don't want you on the table. They want to, like, take over that whole end of the table. Well, I got one thing to say to guys like that. If you are one of them... BAFANGU! Alright. Another way you could be a douchebag. And this is very important, because this is another one that really bothers me. Stay in your lane when you're at the craps table. Don't go leaning over and sticking your elbow into someone else's space and, and, and spreading out and throwing chips all over the place and calling out field bets and yo's and twelves and snake eyes. Don't get in the way of all the other players. We all have our own space there. I know it gets a little crowded, but don't be a friggin' douchebag. Take it over and just like make it uncomfortable for the people around you. This is a team effort. Let's get to the craps table. Let's all have a good time. That's what it's all about. Having a good time. Not being a friggin' douchebag. Alright, so if I offended anybody, I do not apologize. But, I want to hear what you guys think. I want to hear, like, what, what pisses you off at the craps table, or what do you think is proper etiquette that a lot of people don't really exercise? Go ahead and comment below. Let me know. And also, subscribe, like I said before. I will be pumping out these videos, and I'm just telling you right now, I'm, I'm a little slow right now because I'm focusing a lot on my business, so I may not be pumping them out as fast as I usually, as I was before, because things are really picking up, and uh, I really want to give you guys the content, the good stuff, but I'm, I'm conflicted in time, and it's not that... Uh, it's not that I don't have time. I don't like to say I don't have time. What it is, is I am tired in the day. Like later on in the day, when it's time to shoot a video, I get a little tired. That's all. So, I'm going to keep on pumping these out. I'm going to go for once a week. I'm still going to try to do these once a week, but it might be like three times a month. More like maybe one every ten days or something, just to start out. And then at some point, we'll, we'll, I'll start grinding them out a little bit faster. But let me know what you think. 
hit that like button or whatever, whatever I'm supposed to tell you to do, you know. I don't, I don't feel like, I'm getting kind of sick of saying it and everything. You know, like, if you're going to subscribe, you're going to subscribe, so do it. And if not, then don't. I don't give a shit. Do whatever you want. But I'll be back in about seven to ten days with another video. And I'll see you next time.